Hello, my G's. Welcome to G-Free with friends and family. I'm keeping my word, and I'm back with another granola recipe. And this time, we're not making plain granola. We're making granola supreme. <laughs> That's just granola with all the fixings in it. And I'm using my nuts.com gluten-free granola. I'm not really measuring. I'm just going to eyeball through the camera. Well, no, I'll peek. That's not such a good idea. I want to make a decent amount. I guess I poured half the bag in there. I probably wish I did the whole bag, but, you know, sometimes you just get tired of something, or sometimes you just can't get enough of it. You never can tell with me. And into the granola, I'm going to put a handful of um, pumpkin seeds, because I like pumpkin seeds. Yeah. In fact, I've eaten over half the bag already. <laughs> just snacking. And I'm also going to put a handful of the blueberries. Because I like blueberries. I'll just fill it. That was just extra measure. <laughs> and I'm going to add some unsweetened coconut flakes. And all this stuff I got from um, nuts.com. I like coconut. Some people, if they wanted to make this um, paleo, you could leave out the oatmeal and just do it with coconut flakes and toast those up. Yeah. You have just as much coconut in there. Let's put a little more. Coconut also has um, lots of potassium and Potassium is something that I have trouble with, so extra coconut won't hurt me. And then I'm going to season it with some ginger. Hmm. And cinnamon, of course. Oh, excuse me. Chicken and butter. Oh. Oops, sorry. You ever see those people that hit the bowls? Um, I think it's supposed to be some sort of uh, relaxing thing. They'll ting, ting, ting. And then while it's vibrating, I think they have the wet hands and they go around and the sound just continues. Well, we're not doing that here today. <laughs> oh. and we're going to mix it up. Ooh, this looks good. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to add... Gonna add my honey as kind of a glue to make it all stick together and to sweeten it a little. Ooh, I think that's more than enough. I can't believe this honey lasted me so long. I'm glad. Before I get to stirring, I'm gonna have a little sip of water.
Nice and cold. all up in a couple of days, you know, with the bowl and the milk and the snacking, because I like to snack on granola too. Then, I think that's sufficiently coated. I'm going to put it in a pan, put it in the oven, let it dry out and get toasty and oh yeah this is good this is a good batch you can tell by the way it's stirring it's very thick very nice yeah i'm gonna put this in the in the um oven and i'll bring it back and let you show wait i'm gonna put this in the oven and then bring it back and show you how it turned out Well, I'm back, geez, with the finished product, and it's looking pretty good. I'll give you a close-up here. There, you see that? Nice and toasty. Now we'll see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh, it's crunchy, too. Those nuts and the coconut. Really good. The blueberries are okay. But I think I would have preferred the um freeze dried strawberries. Have any of you ever had I'm pushing the camera? Have any of you ever had um the pink drink at Starbucks? They use the freeze dried strawberries in there. And I know they're really flavorful. Next time I might order the freeze dried strawberries because they're really good. I think that's the only drink that I really like at Starbucks. I get tired. I mean, I like the caramel frappuccinos, but those seem like they have so many calories. And when I get the pink drink, the pink drink is really sweet, but. I tell them to put not so much ice and extra water to make up for the ice that's missing. And that usually comes out good for me. Because it's a little bit on the sweet side and I'm not into sweet, sweet things. Mm. Plain granola was good, but I really liked it so much better because, well, it has more good stuff in it, <laughs> and it's more flavorful with the blueberries and the coconut and pumpkin seeds. I love pumpkin seeds. That bag is almost empty. <laughs> well, still got some in there, but... Mm. Yeah. 
pretty pleased with the way this turned out. Hmm. My son is graduating on Saturday. I'm so sad because I can't be with him. He's in Boston. I'm in New York. And I'm really afraid to go out there and everything because of, you know, for various reasons. And he's more afraid to have me go out. Every time I tell him I'm thinking about going somewhere, he's like, no, don't do that. And the same thing with my daughter. She was wanted to go to the store, and we were talking. We did a three-way phone call. And he didn't want her to go to the store. He was so, like, scared for everybody because New York is the epicenter of this whole thing. I know. It's sad. I really wish that I could be with him, you know. Yeah. I really wish people would just behave. China saw a spike because they got out there too soon. And somewhere else. And then when I saw the picture of the people in the park in downtown Manhattan this past weekend with no shirts on but more importantly no gloves and no mask and they were not practicing social distancing and those will be the asymptomatic ones that go around spreading it to everybody else Stay home. Just stay home. And everybody's in a hurry to get their hair done and their nails on. Please. Those people don't care about you. They don't care about your quality of life. None of that. You know, they just want your money. I'm sorry, I forgot where I was. My daughter just called. So. Hmm. I think I was just wrapping up about the social distancing and how people aren't doing it and how there's going to be a spike. We're going to have to stay home for even longer. Wanna go out already. <laughs> mm. I didn't cancel my hotel stay for Atlanta. It's supposed to be in I think the beginning of August, but I don't think it's gonna happen anyway. I was it was just hopeful wishful thinking so I didn't do that but I have to do it because it's definitely the way people are behaving now things aren't going to be good then either mm. oh well It'll just give me the opportunity to do more things a lot of projects that I need to start and finish and it looks like I'm gonna have all the time in the world to do it now but my mood is really not getting good mm. well hopefully everything will get better 
am going to stop complaining now because I really do count my blessings every day and I'm grateful and you should do the same count your blessings be a blessing be kind to yourself like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe click on the notifications so that you can get every video that I post or at least know when I post them until next time.